take 695. <laughs> Just screwing with you guys. This is Mikey, and tonight I'm excited because I'm going to be running through my favorite apps on elementary OS, and I'm going to be showing you guys my setup. So, let's just jump right into it. This is my very minimalist home screen as far as <laughs> as far as you see. Um, and the first thing we're going to be diving into is the App Store. Obviously, uh, if you've seen Danny's video, this is a pay what you want App Store. And there are apps. What I love about this is that there are apps specifically built for elementary OS. So they are beautiful. I mean, they're meant for the system, so obviously they're going to be, look polished. And when you go or scroll down, you're going to see non-curated apps, which means other useful and great apps, but they're just not specifically made for elementary OS. And obviously, you can see that these are free. Now, if you want to download a free app that says it uh, has a set price, you can just click it and go down to zero and click free and enter your password and it'll download. But I do have my favorite apps downloaded and launched already. So let's jump right into the first app I'm going to review. And that is called Notes App. Oh, sorry, Notes Up. It's an app. Try to sing that fast five times. So this is an offline data man. Uh, maybe it's not called a data manager, but it's like a Evernote kind of thing, you know, minus the clipper feature. You can create wh whatever kind of hierarchy you want here. So you can have a project called folders for example and then a subfolder called tech rage which is my uh, the channel that you're watching this on um and saves i guess this is for articles that i want to copy and paste and save kind of like a read it kind of later thing uh, let's create a note it doesn't matter a uh, new page this is markdown <coughs> so Nope. Title. Subtitle. Third level header. This is what text will look like. You can obviously use Control B to mark text as bold, or you can highlight a word and just click the you know tool. Or you can manually uh, manually enter the asterisks. Is that a word? Asterisks. Asterisks. What is this? Copy link to. Oh, this is awesome, actually. So let's just copy this, right? Let's create a new note. Um. And let's just paste it here. Okay. So let's click view, and if you click view, link to note title. And that's basically here, the second note you see underneath. And it will open up. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, it also does work across notebooks. So if you're in a new notebook, another notebook, and you want to link to a note from another notebook, that is awesome. Now the way to delete a note, you can simply double click to edit, or you can just click edit on the top left here, and the trash. And upon restarting the app, it will delete from the trash, as you can see here. You can add images, font color, uh, page break, <coughs> numbered and bullet lists. What is this? You can insert code, insert a quote, strike. I mean, the basic formatting. So you can also change the app theme. So there's dark, there's solarized light, which I love. It's kind of better for my eyes. I think dark modes are beautiful, but for some reason, even though they're meant to stra less strain on your eyes, uh, they put more strain on my eyes. Because if I look from dark to light, it hurts. Um, they have a purely white theme, which is a little too white and gray for me, but whatever. <laughs> you can export as PDF, which is awesome. You can make the... You can collapse and expand, obviously, this notebooks list, which gives you a cleaner experience for sure. I forgot if I mentioned it in this video or the ne uh, last one, my last attempt, you cannot synchronize notes, which is the only reason I'm not fully using notes up, but it is an amazing app and I really want to get into it. 
I just have to find the. It's not convenient because if I'm on the go, I don't have access to these notes, and I don't want to have to download the database on my phone and open it with like an app with like AI Writer or something. It's just a little too much work. If you've seen my previous video, which should be uploaded tonight, I I do use Nimbus Notes. It's an uh, Evernote alternative, and um, yeah, that's what I use instead of this. But if this had synchronization. Hands down, I would be using this. This is the best app. My other, my second favorite app is Timetable. This is like one of those Kanban kind of things, uh, a weekly agenda kind of thing. <coughs> so as you can see here, this was for my last attempt. I'm sorry for coughing a lot, guys. Anyway, um, okay, you can create a meditation from 1210, whatever your task list is. So let's just, uh, what the hell? It's, it seems to be buggy now. Thank you for making me look stupid. Yeah, I don't know, it's buggy, guys. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. There we go. Looks like I forgot how to use an app. Um, work out for example right which i know i should be doing um okay so let me just put one o'clock all right whatever it wants me to work out for two o'clock i guess it thinks i'm fat thank you computer um or all day you know it depends on your task it, it doesn't remind you or anything so you know don't think it does it doesn't it's a very simple app. It, it, it's not a reminder. It's just for you to pull it up and say, hey, I've done this. Once you've done it, click delete. Story is over. I mean, you don't have to delete it. That's just I want a cleaner experience. So the more I do, the more I clear off the board. You can export it, but uh, I mean, I don't know how that works. I hardly have use for offline software. That's another thing. Again, I love this app, but if you're on the go and you want to do it from your phone, it isn't exactly the best. I find that a lot of apps with Linux, like they're, they're beautiful, but they're just not cross-platform. Most of them. I'm not going to say all of them. There are apps that are cross-platform. It's just harder. You know, and I'm not the type of person who takes my laptop around with me because it's about 11 inches. <laughs> it's too small for me. I'm hooked up to a 19-inch monitor, and even that, I was, I would, I'm like, I would kind of want a bigger one. But it's not the big deal. I know plenty of people who take around their laptops around that size. So it's fine. Uh, it's just for me. A little weird. So that's it. There is a planner app. I don't use this app, but it's pretty interesting. You can create a note. Uh, I mean, a task. Add some notes. Add checklists. You can add reminders. It's a very ha it's a very handy app. I don't use it just because I just use a calendar, Google Calendar to be specific. But again, for those privacy minded people, these apps are extremely extremely useful, and they're powerful. And I might say that they're prettier. <laughs> um, op the optimizer is also a great um app. Um, this gives you details of the system and the you know the resources being used. You can clean your system, you know, clear cache and everything. Just clean up your system, you know, wipe it up like a cleaner. I've never done it, but I mean, I'm, I suppose it works. Actually, I have done it once, but there was an error. Um, but I think that was on my part. I don't know. I just was testing it out for fun. I didn't actually need to do anything. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Do I have anything else to show you? Oh, I do have a metronome map. If you don't know what a metronome is, I can't exactly explain it to you. But it helps me relax when I'm trying to meditate. I do Zazen meditation. You guys can look that up. It's a powerful form of... Uh, self-discipline and it goes into existence like the very concept of existence it's used by zen buddhists it's uh powerful 
I just said that a bunch of times, but yes, it really is. So I do use this when I'm meditating. Uh, Luna is a calendar widget on your desktop. You can't actually do anything with it <coughs> just to see the map. Just to see the map. Just to see the calendar. I clearly know what a calendar is, guys. It's a map. You have different apps. I mean, you have different themes. Wow, I can't speak today. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, this is pretty. I mean, it's not very useful to me. I don't know that it works with... Uh, I don't know if it works with the built-in calendar. I haven't tried it. But, uh, I mean, I suppose it does. But don't take my word for it, though. Um, I, again, I don't really use this. This doesn't serve a purpose. It's just pretty. Because you can just pull it down from here. <laughs> I mean, this isn't necessarily pretty. I mean, it's just useful. Oh, of course, there's another app. App Editor is something I love. Now, you have a list of apps, as you can see here, or in my doc. Um, and this is where you can customize note names, the labels of notes, and the icon. Custom icons per app. And you can categorize them yourself. <coughs> so this is actually one of my favorite apps in terms of customization because you can really dive deep. It's like Android with icon packs. You know, if you hold, if you're on most launchers and if you hold down custom launchers, that is, a certain icon, it'll let you change it to a different icon from a different icon pack and it will let you change the label even, especially a Nova launcher. So it's kind of like that. And you, you also have like command line, you can customize uh, the command used to open the app. There's a lot, yeah. Um, you can choose from available icons. Those are not the prettiest, but they hey, they work, right? Or you can download icons from a website. I use Icons8. It's a good website. Excuse me, it's a good website for icon packs. Let's see what else. Okay, <coughs> excuse me again. That seems to be about it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and let me know what you guys thought.